Aesthetical is a domain of challenge. It is a challenge of a special kind of self-assertion. Egypt works miracles. Its beating heart pumps blood into the arteries of life. Its men do not know the impossible. On its good land, men started work. The president's words were always in their minds. أقول للمصريين الشباب بناء البلاد جهد وعرق وإخلاص وأمانة إحنا بنبني وحنبني وده تحدي. Drops of sweat falling on the sand were the spark of the beginning of the construction of one of the largest petrochemical national plan projects. The project aims at the maximum utilization of natural gas by increasing the added value through the use of raw material in many industries. Ethitku is not just a complex producing ethylene and its byproducts, but it is an unprecedented creativity in design, building, construction, transport, installation, implementation and operation. Ethitku is also a story of success that affirms that the petrochemical sector realizes very well the integration, speed, and the genius of achievement in modern Egypt. Area 175 Fidans. Investments $1.9 billion. Location Al Nahda, Al Hamiria, Alexandria, with proximity to the raw material and the export port in the Khila and Cairo Alexandria Desert Road. Thinking about the construction of the complex was one of the most challenging ideas on which depends the activation, implementation, and completion of the Petrochemical National Plan. The complex consists of three main projects. Ethylene Project. The great challenge started with the project of producing butadiene and ethylene from the moment of delivering the land of the project to the EPC contractor in December 2012. As soon as the soil, the concrete bases, equipment and machinery were prepared, the steps of completing the project continued. The supply and installation of seven coils of cracking heaters. These cracking heaters were 100% Egyptian handmade in the workshops of Petrojet Company in Al Maadi and Etco. The installation of two units of steam boilers to produce superheated steam. Each boiler weighs 180 tons with a capacity of 90 tons of steam per hour and with a 42 bar pressure for each. Implementation was carried out in the main control room through extending 1 million meters of cables for electric transformers and distribution boards, as well as the installation of main compressors that are steam turbine driven. Special towers for the ethylene project. Transport process, a wonderful system of coordination among all those who are responsible in the governorate and the departments of traffic and roads and bridges. No noise, no confusion, and no disruption of the citizens' interests. The work duration is only during night hours and before feet knock the roads with the sunrise. During this important phase, non-traditional methods were followed in transportation via highly professional Egyptian companies and the use of advanced heavy trucks loading and the lifting of parts of the port's fence and one of the bridges, then reconstructing and installing it again. Safe transport, moving and installing without any losses. Heavy lifting plan. Installation was done using cranes with capacities of 1,200 tons and 300 tons. This was clear in the frictionator tower for the separation of ethylene. The tower weighs 364 tons and is 104 meters high and was successfully installed from the first time. The company is keen to provide products and services that meet the demands of customers of various segments. The company is also keen to adhere to local and international friendly environmental standards. Previous work required. Pouring of 49,000 cubic meters of reinforced concrete 
and 7,500 tons of metal structures. Project Utilities In the Project Utilities and Services, and in line with global thinking to cope with water scarcity and preserve the environment, the Ministry of Petroleum was keen on environment preservation, a matter which has become a necessity in designing and construction of industrial sewage treatment plants. Ethitico has taken steps for water conservation for water conservation and zero liquid discharge ZLD, by using the technology of complete water recycling in an integral manner for the first time in Egypt. This was done through the discharge of drainage contaminants and converting them into solid salts after removing the water. The project includes the construction of a one-unit cooling tower, considered to be the largest and the first of its kind in Egypt, thus recycling and cooling 32,000 tons of water per hour by using eight giant pumps and two spare pumps consisting of 12 cells with a capacity of 3,500 tons of water per hour for each cell. Five tanks were manufactured and installed for filtered water, firefighting water, desalinated water, and removed salt water with a capacity of 3,500 cubic meters. A firefighting water system through diesel pumps and an electric water pump. In addition to two pumps to save pressure, jockey pumps were implemented. Works of design, supplies and installations were all carried out by 100% Egyptian hands. Polyethylene Project As regards the polyethylene project, its completion was a model of achievement that overcomes all challenges. The project transcends the local domain to the international domain through the methods of technology used or access to world markets. This was done by the actual contracting to export 70% of the production to about 30 countries. The construction of the plant included assembling, manufacturing and welding of 12 silos for mixing and storing with a storage capacity of 500 tons and a capacity of 1,000 meters each. The polyethylene plant adopts the Unipol technology, a pioneer of univation industry licensed from the World Polyethylene Company with two production lines. The first one for the non-stop production of low-density polyethylene with a capacity of 200,000 tons and the second for the production of high-density polyethylene with a capacity of 200,000 tons annually. Polyethylene goes in the industries of many plastic products, oil containers, chemicals, plastic boxes, pipes, tanks, pharmaceutical packaging, cosmetics and agricultural greenhouses. The aim is to make the maximum use of petrochemical products and materials locally instead of exporting them as raw materials and benefiting from what is produced in creating industries that achieve the highest revenues and an added value to the national economy. Ethitco also started the procedures of the implementation of the polybutadiene plant, that is synthetic rubber plant, with investments worth $100 million and a production capacity of 36,000 tons to produce many products. The project of the combined flares consists of three flares, each of which is six parts, fixed on a triangular-shaped structure that is 121 meters high by using the water insulation technology for each flare. This is considered the first of its kind in Egypt and maintenance is carried out without any interruption of production. An epic presented by the Egyptian petroleum sector to meet the challenges and conquer difficulties. It is the mixing of sweat with the loyalty and love of homeland. It is a gift to the faithful Egyptians and a promise to continue bestowal with a great people and a leader who donated his life to work for a goal and a one call that echoes in the hearts before the throats. Long 
live Egypt. Long live Egypt. Long live Egypt.